Cornwall is down in the south of England, it feels a little bit sunnier, a little bit more relaxed than London, you know, more countryside, more beaches and all this sort of stuff. That's where we were filming and it was just like a joy from start to finish. It was very happy going to work every day. The place does have a real magic and this house that we're in has a magic to it, a feeling that it's a place where you could be happy. And I think that is infecting people a little bit and I think that everyone is happy and is getting into a feeling that we're in a real place where a family might live and have real experiences. This is Mary. Good Lord, you're pretty. Oh, no, I, it's just... I've got a lot of mascara and lipstick on. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Good. It's got a grandeur about it, but it's, it's really only sort of skin deep. We gave it kind of a more rambling garden and sort of grew grass longer and painted it a pink colour, so it kind of sat back into the landscape a little bit more. Inside it's actually quite a real and kind of rambling world, which is sort of quite a nice image for the family, I think. The fact that we're shooting a film on a lawn overlooking a beach, overlooking the sea in Cornwall, and it turns out to be a record-breaking summer, you know, kind of played into our hands. People rub along incredibly well together and they treat each other with kindness and uh, care. I got a text from one of the actors saying it had been perfect paradise and sheer hell because it was this strange thing we've had often here, which is the situation you're in and the things that you're portraying are things you would dearly love, but unfortunately you're making a film about them rather than actually, <laughs> than actually experiencing them. I love being on location because it really does bring me together. And this has been ideal. It's allowed us to become close quite quickly because we are just hanging out on the beach together all day. Couldn't have asked for a better place to be a family. Paramount Pictures has hired The Impossible and The Orphanage Hummer Juan Antonio Bayona to direct the World War Z sequel, says The Hollywood Reporter. Brad Pitt will again star and produce the sequel to this summer's release, which is unsurprising considering that it was Pitt's most profitable film ever, earning an impressive 540 million worldwide. The film was directed by Mark Forster and based on the novel by Max Brooks. At this early stage, no writers are attached and the studio has not set a release date yet. As usual, we will keep you updated on this project. And that's all for today. Like us on Facebook and see you next time.